know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager. She's kept it secret for 50 years. You're talking about the human interest story, and that's... I don't do those. Why not? You think I should do a human interest story? Philomena, how are you? I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Titanium, so it won't rust. Otherwise, it'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Is that right? Oh, no. He's just joking, Mum. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask if it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story. What about Anne Boleyn? That's a lovely name. Well, somebody had that. Think, we're going to have to use your real name, follow me, then. I only want to know if he's all right. Perhaps these older nuns should help us with some of the details. I don't think that's going to be possible. Why not? You're a journalist. I used to be. Martin's a Roman Catholic. Yes, well, no, I used to be. My guess is that Anthony was adopted and sent to America. I think I would like to go. And now we're on the flip side. Hey, Evan at Evgriff42. Allie, I'm not going to mention my Twitter handle because it doesn't come out as effortlessly. Allison AJ. Yeah. With a handle. Uh, so yeah. we're going to wrap up week four talking about a uh, the BBC movie of the year. Um, Philomena. Uh, starring... Philomania. Philomania. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. It was sweet. It was a nice movie. It's starring Judy Dench and Steve Coogan and is based on a true story about... Uh, it's about how in Ireland, a couple decades past, yep. whenever you whenever you went to like a nunnery, mm -hmm. and if you had done something that they considered a sin, like if you got pregnant before you were married, um, they could potentially put that baby off for adoption, and it was this huge scandal, and it was just about how like the Irish church kind of screwed a lot of women over. So so it's about one woman in particular uh, named Philomena Lee, whose uh, story is uh, written by, and her, you know, the conclusion of it uh, helped out by a guy named Martin Six Smith, who is a uh, political journalist in England and kind of lost some face over a particular issue. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. And then he gets asked to do a human interest story about this woman looking for her lost son. Um, so Philomena is nominated for four things, uh, Judy Dench's role as a leading actress, best picture, best original score, uh, and best director by Stephen Friars, Frears? It wasn't, um... Oh, it wasn't? I don't think so. Great. Oh, well, it's fine. But, oh. um... Oh. Yeah, so, it was um, writing, too, the and script. adapted screenplay. Um... Which is based on by the actual guy Martin Six Smith. He wrote it, the book. He wrote the book. Can we start over? I said "roted." No, no, this is fine. It's two minutes, man. We make mistakes. And we roll with it. <laughs> um, Let's jump with the it. The okay. book is "The Lost Child of Philomena Lee," <laughs> and well, it's written by the actual journalist that Steve Coogan plays. Um, while we're like in the writing area, that's my favorite part of the movie. Actually, yeah. the adapted screenplay, I thought it was really smartly done because mm -hmm. there's a twist in it that comes about half hour in and it's an hour and a half movie and you would have expected this like plot development to happen maybe 20 minutes before the end of the film and then the follow-up be brief and then wrapped up and it'd be easy about her son. Okay. And I just thought that was a really, you know, intelligent way to do a by-the-books movie. Yeah, that definitely. And as I was watching this, I kind of felt like, oh, this uh, the story's taken like a weird turn of events. But I was thinking to myself, like, no, you can't criticize it for the way that the story goes because it's based on what actually happened. You know, it'd be yeah. like it'd be like judging the way that like how many plantations there are in Twelve Years a Slave. You can't judge that because that's the story. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but yeah, the script was uh, very well written. Judy Dench. Um, Stellar. Absolutely, Love and I think she and Steve Coogan had a lot of great chemistry. Yeah, they had, oh yeah, I was just shaking the table, my bad. No earthquake, shaking it's okay. Shaking it up. But no, yeah, I thought Steve Coogan and her both had very nice chemistry. Like yeah. Again, I said it right before we, you know, pressed record, that I really enjoyed Steve Coogan in this. And, like, I've seen him in a couple of things, and he never really plays likable human beings. He played the director, him. Damien Cockburn, in Tropic Thunder, and which like, was hilarious. His head blew off. So, yeah, and <laughs> that plus a number of other roles. He's never, like, super, super likable. 
but I thought he was very much so in this, and I just really enjoyed watching him. Which is so. pretty, he was, he was practically an atheist, if not absolutely was, um, mm -hmm. Martin Sixsmith. So, but like, the fact that he, you know, it's a, it's a movie about, um, the, the, there's a lot of kind of like, uh, there's a theme of like conflict between like, what does it mean to be like a true like Catholic and be a person that be believes and has faith in God and what it kind of means for someone like Martin Sixsmith and how do you kind of find a balance between those kind of personal feelings and he played a character like that in a very likable way. Yeah, and also, I mean, you know, not saying if this is a good or bad thing, but it could have easily just been a hatchet do job towards religion. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? And they really straddled the line between being respectful and they being did. a little judgmental. Because that's the thing. In they... a very easy manner. Like, yeah, because what they 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 could have painted either side as being completely evil, and what they did was they did focus it on the nunnery that did Philomena the wrong, which, you know, which just kind of makes it much more tangible in a, in a way of, like, what happened. Yeah. So, so I mean, like, it's, it's not a movie to write home about. It's nothing, again, I mean, I'll recommend it to a few people in my life, like, you know, some older relatives maybe, but I don't my, know. My, my, my grandmother, her name is Nina, so she saw this movie, um... Namesake alone. <laughs> yeah, she she was very excited that there's a movie with her name in it, and uh, but she she really really enjoyed it, and I know that she's very Catholic, so. So yeah, so I mean, it just depends on who you are, what kind of mood of a movie you're in. It's nothing bad, maybe not deserving of a best pick nominee, but otherwise. You don't yeah. think that Judy Dench would uh, kind of is. Judy Dent is amazing in everything she does, so yeah, without question, and she was amazing in this. She, I mean, I can't what. It's a master class in acting whenever you watch her in a role, no matter what it's in, for how even long Even it's when in. she plays M in Bond. I mean, come on. <laughs> I loved her as M in Bond. Really? So, I mean, I think she, was, she might have been the best part of Skyfall, but... There's a lot of great parts of Skyfall. I know. I just said... But, um... <laughs> <laughs> so. That's one of my favorite movies last year, but, um... No. Or two years ago, no. Uh, so, I don't know. See it at your own digression. You know, it's up to, it's not, again, it's not anything to really get enthusiastic about, but it's, it's nothing depressing. to complain about. It's a depressing movie. Viewer discretion is advised. Yay. Yay. Uh, so, we're going to come back. Uh, next week. Next week. Uh, we might be talking about um, Hayao Miyazaki's last movie, The Wind Rises, because that has its American release next Friday, February 21st. Uh, we might talk about that. We might talk about some other animated movies, depending on what we plan on doing but the Oscars are coming up soon so what do you guys think you really really want have we talked about all of them no we have one left oh. but next week gotcha. that comes out Never mind. we still got Captain Phillips left but um <sighs> yeah. we still got to talk about that I need to watch it I'll watch it this weekend but um if you guys have like any idea of like what you really really are gunning for, like what's what's your underdog like in terms of like the best picture nominations or any of the nominations at all, it could be costume and designing. Mom, I really know you loved The Great Gatsby. I think it was nominated for that. <laughs> um, so if you guys can tweet at us, either of us or at the young folks at TYF official. And uh, the week before the Oscars, we'll probably do a video where we read off uh, some tweets. So. Yeah. Yeah. If there are any. But if okay. There, if there are any, I'll make some up. Oh. I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. Well, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.